Hello everyone, this is Josh Shogren from Niche Site Azon, and I am bringing you guys the very first video. Um, and in today's video, I want to talk about a really cool advanced niche site tactic um, that I've been using on a lot of my niche sites and having a lot of success with. So I wanted to um, come in and share it with you all and kind of explain um, the strategy that I'm using. So today we'll be talking about my favorite way to find long tail keywords. So long tail keywords are the backbone of every single one of my niche sites. Um, Long tail keywords provide highly targeted visitors, they're really easy to rank for, and there are endless amounts of them within any niche. So when, I, when I'm saying they're highly targeted visitors, visitors, what I mean by that is that when people search for extremely targeted searches that are four, five, six um, words long, those are extremely targeted searches that when they're searching, for, when people are searching for those long tail keywords, they're looking for something specific. So if we can provide them with that something specific that they're looking for when they go to our site and we provide them exactly what they're looking for these visitors um, are a lot more targeted and a lot more likely to like what they see on our site and click through our affiliate link and buy through Amazon or any other affiliate site that we're using they are they're going to convert at a much higher rate than just random traffic that comes to our site through large untargeted keywords um, so, so that's one thing that I really like about long tail keywords. Another thing is they're very easy to rank for. It's very, it's a lot easier to rank for a keyword that's getting 70 monthly searches than a keyword that's getting 13,000 monthly searches. So, um, that's what I really like about this. And guys, there's so many long tail keywords in no, in any niche. There's so many of them that you'd have to go out there and do the research. But if you go out there and do the research, you can dig through, dig up a lot of easy to rank for long tail keywords that will provide you a lot of traffic, which you'll see in a minute. So, guys. Um, this is an example of one of my niche sites traffic um, from in the last year, so from January 1st, 2015 to the very end of 2015, December 31st. So this is a year's worth of traffic stats right here. As you guys can see, look, it has consistently grown pretty much every month from April, I mean from March right here. It's grown every single month and ha had even a spike in December right here. And this is mainly due to me ranking for long tail keywords. Um, and guys, so if we go back see this is it's, I mean it got close to probably around um, 15,000 visitors in one month so um, over 600 visitors in one day and I'm the reason why I'm showing you the traffic stats and showing you guys that there's this tra this site's getting a, a good chunk of traffic is because I want to show you you guys are gonna be amazed by the keywords that are that are bringing in this sites traffic the, the keywords that have are bringing in the most traffic for this site so um, if we take a look, look at these. These are the top keywords that are driving the most traffic to my site right here. So this is a screenshot from SEMrush. And as you guys can see, my my top, the keyword that's driving the most traffic to my site um, has 590 monthly searches and is driving over 18% or close to 18% of my total traffic. Um, but I, what I really want to point out here is that look at all these top keywords right here. These are, these are the very top keywords that are driving the most traffic not one of them is over a thousand monthly searches the closest one comes to 880 right here but not one of them is over a thousand and that is very important because I see a lot of people um, mistakenly go for keywords that have 2,000, 5,000, 8,000, 15,000 monthly searches and doing that is awesome if you can rank for those keywords but it's so so hard to rank for those and it's so much easier to rank for keywords that are getting 90 monthly searches right here so, and that's another thing I want to point out really quick before we move on, is that look at these keywords, 90. I mean, look, at, yeah, these keywords have 90 monthly searches, 70, 70. Those are so low, but look, it's provide, it's getting close to 2% of my traffic, 2% of my traffic, 2.7% of my traffic is coming from this 190, from this keyword that's getting 90 monthly searches. So, guys, don't underestimate the power of long tail keywords. Um, so, guys, today's tip, I'm going to be talking, talking about how to use SEMrush in niche forums to ha to literally find long tail keyword gold mines. So that's what today's video is going to be about. Um, so let's hop on over to SEMrush and get searching. All right, guys. The first thing we need to do um, over here at Google is find a forum that is related to your niche in some way. So for example, if I had an affiliate site that sold baseball bats, I would just type in baseball plus forum and then find a bunch of baseball forums that. I could use and put it into SEMrush. So basically, you're, we're just going out to Google and finding um, forums that are related to the niche that our website is in, or a web, or a niche that we want to build a website in. So um, before we hop in here, first thing I want to talk about is why 
why forums? What, why, why do we care about forums so much and why are we using that to base all of our long tail keywords and, re and the research on based off of forums? So let me explain to you guys really quick why that is. So first off, I like forums because any keywords that a forum is ranking for, you can almost guarantee that you can outrank a forum. Forums are extremely easy, are extremely, let's say, like they're, they are not optimized at all to rank in Google. So if a forum thread is ranking for keywords um, in the top three, in the top 10 first for certain keywords, I can guarantee that if you write um, a high quality thousand plus word article that you can outrank that forum that's ranking there pretty easily. So that's why mainly why I like to use forums for this because it, fi it finds not only a ton of long tail keywords but a ton of easy to rank long tail keywords which is so important. So that's what that's the main reason another reason why I like to find forums is because forums have so many different topics and threads and people asking questions inside the forum that it provides you with a ton of different outside of the box keywords that you probably wouldn't have thought of otherwise so that's why another reason why I really like forums so let's hop in and let's find some forums to research on so for example um, let's just say let me think let's just do let's just do the baseball form let's let's do that one I mean baseball plus forum and let's see what we get I mean this might not be the best because yeah see like there's like fantasy and stuff like that but I mean baseball um, fever right here where it says like coaching baseball one ballparks and stuff like this would this would be a good one to go into I mean I'm not gonna get into baseball just because it's usually a pretty competitive niche in the first place and I probably wouldn't be selling that but Let's see, let's say for example, um, birds, birds, I mean you might be selling bird cages as an Amazon affiliate or bird um, bird feeders or something, you, you know what I mean? So we can do bird forums, alright birdforum.net, this is, that's a nice one. Um, what bird community board, so I mean see how this is whatbird.com slash forum? We would rather have like the forum be on the actual domain, not a, um, not on a page like this is right here. So we'll keep looking. Illinois Birders Forum, I guess, might be pretty good. Bird Forum TV looks like it'd be good. So, ton of different options. And um, so what we're gonna do once we find one that we like, birdforum.net. What we're gonna do is come over here, copy this URL, and paste it into Semrush. And then after that, that's going to bring back um, all of the keywords that birdform.net is ranking for. And guys, I know um, SEMrush is a tool that you've probably heard about, um, but it's also kind of expensive to use SEMrush. But if there's any tool that you get when you're making niche sites, before any tool, I would highly suggest getting SEMrush as your first tool because it is the most powerful keyword research tool by far on the market so I mean I'd get SEMrush before Majestic I'd get it before um, Longtail Pro before Moz before any of those I would get SEMrush and I know it's expensive so if you for you guys that really want to save money um, you can go out to SEO group buy or group buy.com or something like that and they will allow you to get SEMrush for like 10 bucks a month or something like that and that's I'm, I might even still have um, be using the SEMrush right now through a group buy um, that I just said so I mean if you're really trying to save some money go over to there and get it and no I'm not anyway affiliated with it um, I'm just I'm just letting you guys know the cheapest route to be able to access SEMrush so enough of that let's just get right into um, the findings for birdform.com so here are the keywords that um, are sorted by the ones that bring in the most traffic so obviously birdform is bringing in over 12% but that's not a, something we're going to be trying to rank for. We're not going to be trying to rank for bird form. We're going to want to keep going down through here and find keywords, long tail keywords that we have never thought of before that we can try to rank for on our site. So if we had a site selling bird cages or bird feeders or just anything bird related, that means that we could produce content that is just no matter what it is, as long as it's related to birds, it can go onto our site and we could rank for those keywords because just getting those people onto our site and then transferring them over to an article where we sell to them is a good tactic. So I mean, even if we rank for keywords such as "Do squirrels eat bird eggs?" 
I mean, yes, that is a very extremely narrow long tail keyword, but surprisingly it's 260 monthly searches and this form is ranking first for it. So if we created an article um, titled, Do Squirrels Eat Bird Eggs? I guarantee you that we could outrank this article and get all this traffic that it is getting to its site. Um, so obviously we're not gonna probably be able to sell to them on that page, but we can link over to articles on the on our site that sell to them bird feeders or bird cages or whatever we're selling we can transfer them from this article to um, another article for example just I mean just give you guys an example of that so so as you guys can see um, we can just keep looking down here and finding a bunch of just random long tail keywords that um, we could we could think about um, writing about so here's one Nikon field scope ED82 this form right here, this page right here, is ranking for this Nikon Fieldscope ED82. And look at this, I mean, it's just a form thread with a bunch of people talking about it. Um, if we ranked first for this, or like I did a review on Nikon Fieldscope ED82 reviews, or review, and we had a re review article like a thousand words long, you can almost guarantee that you're gonna outrank this article, this, this, uh, this page right here, and make a lot of sales because people are searching for Nikon Fieldscope ED82. So I mean that's something that we could think about doing. We could, all right, that's something that we are gonna write in future content. Um, let's just keep looking. Um, I mean look at all these binoculars. We could sell binoculars. Um, Tokino 300mm 2.8. I mean that's a long tail keyword that's pretty specific that gets 210 searches a month that we could think about um, pursuing. Let's see. So obviously there's a ton of, there's 198 pages of this. So um, what you could do to kind of narrow it down, for example, if we were selling bird cages, we could type in cages or just cage into the filter right here and kind of, and see what keywords birdform.net is ranking for that have cage somewhere in here. So there's not too many of them. Um, suet cages, bird ground feeder cage. So I mean, there's four of them. There's not a whole bunch. A whole bunch here. Let's see. Search feeder. So yeah, here's some more. Um, balcony bird feeder, 90 monthly searches. Uh, pigeon proof bird feeder, 70 monthly searches. Um, cat proof bird feeder. Flying squirrel feeder, um, pigeon proof bird feeders. Do hummingbird feeders attract bees? I mean, look at all these long tail keywords. There's so many long tail keywords that this one forum provides to us right here. So I mean, um, just as an example, to show you how easy it is to rank for stuff like these type of keywords, um, let's see, um, balcony bird feeder. Let's just copy this, go over to keyword finder, and this is just what I use to kind of look at the, uh, the competition for a certain keyword. So balcony bird feeder has SEO ranking of eight. That means it's super easy to, anything under 10, it's super easy to rank for, um, in my opinion, what I found. So if it has eight SEO, this is extremely easy to rank for. And I mean, that just goes to show you how easy it is to rank for keywords that forms are ranking for. Let's find another one. So let's do cat proof. I can't even highlight it. Let's see, cat proof. Cat proof bird feeder. Let's see how hard it is. Um, let's see the SEO competition on this keyword right here. So cat proof bird feeder. 11, super easy. Um, cat proof bird feeders right here. Um, I mean, look at this. I mean, squirrel proof bird feeder has over close to 10,000 monthly searches. And yeah, it's a little more competition, but I mean, it just gives you so many keyword ideas that you can kind of dive deep into the rabbit hole and just start exploring everything you can about certain keywords and certain niches to find those long tail keywords that are easy to rank for and have a good chunk of monthly searches. But so I mean this is just one small little example. Let's just go um let's do let's do another one. Let's do another niche. Let's do uh woodworking. Let's see. All right. So Wood, woodworking talk. Let's just see what this has for us. I don't know why that's saving. Why is that save? Well, I don't. 
I don't know why that opens up into what is going on huh that's I don't know why I can't open up oh here we go I don't know what was going on there okay so woodworking talk and see the see how this brings us to like an actual website and the forum is over here see how it's on its own like dot I mean backslash form dot PHP we don't really want that because I mean you could still go put this in the SEMrush and you get a lot of good results I'm don't get me wrong you can do that but I'm just trying to find like actual um forum so let's see would talk online let's see what this guy has for us right here okay yeah this is an actual forum let's just put this into here search it um, click on positions to see all the keyword positions and then it'll load up and so I mean look at this it has a close to 22,000 keywords that this form is ranking for so I mean if you are in the woodworking niche something like miter saws or power saws or hammers or anything like that an affiliate for those look you don't think you could find a, a one or two thousand keywords that you could easily outrank this form for I mean you better believe you can because I mean look at this best wood for tabletop um, how to build a crib probably not let's see um, portable joiner I know that for a fact that that is a type of power tool and it's ranking first for it and it says 70 monthly searches you could write a, an article about that saying the 10 best portable joiners um, on the market or something like that and you could easily outrank them for all of these uh, type of keywords so I mean there is so many things you can do with SEMrush and um, forums that it, I it literally probably take me an hour long video to go through all the things that you could do with this another thing I, I like to do just really quick before I end this video is to click on pages and what this does is it categorizes or orders all the pages by the most um, the highest the, the page that drives the most traffic for the website so um, this one says what should I use for a table let's try to find um, let's see good inexpensive starter lathe so what we do is click on this and this will bring us to all the keywords that this specific page is ranking for um, let's see view full report and let's see okay look at all these keywords um, cheap lathe cheap wood lathe best beginner wood lathe um, and and guys let's just um, let's see best wood lathe 260 uh, let's see so cheap best beginner wood lathe so yeah this only has 10 monthly searches but I mean it's fine because if you wrote uh, if you wrote an article on the best inexpensive wood lathes you could come in and steal pretty much every single one of these rankings that this forum right here this page right here is ranking for so I mean let's best beginner wood lathe SEO competition of 13 so I mean that makes it pretty easy um, to rank for I mean guys this there's so much potential here that I mean like I said I can go on for an hour or two about this but really the best way to go about this whole thing is just to find forums within your niche throw them into SEMrush and just dive deep into all the research and find as many long tail keywords as you can one thing I like to do is just come over here and export um, all the data that you want into an Excel spreadsheet and, and at the end you can kinda have one full document Excel document full of all the long tail keywords that you found during your research process so you can go back to it and refer to it later when you are hiring people to write your content or writing your own content whatever whatever you whatever you plan on doing but as the main idea here is to just throw forums niche forums into SEMrush and see what you can find and there are so many long tail keywords that it's on that is so it's crazy so I really hope you guys enjoyed this um, first video that I did for niche site Azon um, this is a really cool advanced niche site strategy that I use on all my own niche sites and I've had good success with so I hope that I can share it with you and you guys can have the same success that I have had so thank you all for watching this first video um, be on the lookout for new videos and new articles over on niche site Azon. And like I said, thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching.